Episode 33, Dads on Wrestling, brought to you by Stone Soul. Check them out for all your R&B cover needs. Starring T.W. himself, Jeff Meacham, the renegade of wrestling, J.J. Williams, and the lady killer, Rockin! But you, you already know that. Starts right now. I love how that's where you call me TW, because that's right. I am talk wrestling. Let's not forget that for one moment right now. All right. I think we proved that. We proved week. that the other day. That's right. First I of all... I think there's a serious rift going on at NoDQ.com. I'm just whoa. throwing that out there. Whoa. First of all, apologies for the first version of this episode not going up. Well, it, in all fairness, that was a renegade that, that we was tried a renegade to take, we tried to do. and it just didn't work, so whenever the Dads on Wrestling, Renegade of Wrestling DVD set comes out, it will be on there as a lost episode, lost along episode with our tribute to Edge, so be on the lookout for that. And while we're at it, Stone Soul, make sure you like the, 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 the business card says MySpace, don't go by that, like them on <coughs> Facebook, right? because MySpace is, is dead, but anyway... Although apparently Timberlake bought it, Justin gonna, Timberlake bought my and we're gonna have it revamped and whatnot. Let's so. let's hope. Let's woo, hope. Woo, woo, woo. All right. So what are you, what are you doing? Can can, can, can we focus, uh, please? You know, I, I I got evicted by my Renegade show this week, as all of y'all found out. It turned into an unauthorized talk wrestling episode, just for you because you demanded it. But over yesterday, the big news circulating around. The internet community, Facebook, YouTube, yeah, Wrestle well, Edge, PW Torch, all those websites. Even the other site that I worked for, kind of. Nah, that one doesn't exist. Oh, okay. But anyways, the big news was CM Punk right here <clears throat> invading the San Diego Comic-Con and calling out this man right here, Triple H. And we've all seen the video. And if you I've seen you it, I've seen it more than once now, and I crack up every time I see it. Good stuff. The, the one-liners back and forth between the two of them, epic. How, how's life in fantasy land, Hunter? How's the unemployment line? Ooh. Punk was great comeback, though. I'm not looking for a job. I already, I'm ready to check I, I've got the championship. Yeah. Pulls the belt out. Not a bad thing to put on your resume. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Champions fight. Well, anytime you want a title shot, sir, just come on down to Chicago. I'll give you one. So, you YouTube fans, go ahead and look that up. All you have to do is just type in CM Punk. The greatest part, though, the two greatest one-liners were, when are you going to put Zack Ryder on TV? Shout out to That's Zach. That's because Zack Ryder needs the push. And the second one, Triple H was like, you know, give us a call. It's a new regime, a new era. Maybe we can work out a deal on CM Punk in his infinite sarcasticness. It's like, I'm sure Stephanie's got my phone number somewhere. Tell her to call me. Whole crowd. Oh! Whole crowd is like, sit and burn. But if you look on the WWE corporate website, you will see that CM Punk is the WWE champion. Yes. And it says, kayfabe storyline. And then it says, Triple H, head of day-to-day -day operations, quotations, K Fabe storyline. Sorry guys, I hate to shatter the little you know what I mean, the little thing that CM Funk's not gonna re sign with WWE and I'm not gonna K Fabe the stocks are shooting through the motherfucking roof right now. No, nah, but let's, let's why should you? Why should you? Let's, yeah. let's head on to Raw, man. Let's well are you still I, I just wanted to touch one we've more thing. We've already covered Raw, but I was gonna touch on one more thing regarding Punk and that is the fact that his good buddy Colt Cabana has given notice to at least one federation that he works for that after next month, he will not be able to work with them anymore. Mm, so Which leads to speculation mean? that maybe, just maybe, they're going to go with this Ring of Honor type invasion storyline that we're hearing circulating around the internet. They've already pretty much signed Chris Hero and Claudio Castagnoli. Cole Cabana's not going to be available to work. You've got CM Punk, the WWE Champion, and then still on the roster, you've got Matt Seidel, a.k.a. Evan Bourne, and Brian Danielson, mm. both, of whom, bank. both of whom are not doing anything really, and I have to believe that Brian getting in the money in the bank, I, I want to believe that was the call from the get-go, but I really think well, that that call was made on the fly because here was Sin Cara getting pushed to the moon, and they had to take him out of storyline. Mm-hmm. 
because he failed his drug test. He he can he botches his entrances, he botches his finishes, and he botched the drug test, like Jeff pointed out on yeah. the unauthorized talk wrestling. Yeah. Look for uh, Sin Cara merchandise that still keeps pumping out, though. You got yeah. the, and the armbands just came out. Let me point out, without spoiling for you, because you haven't seen SmackDown, I don't know if you've heard about SmackDown or not, mm. they are going somewhere with Brian. I know about that. I you do know about, about that. Okay, okay, all right, okay. okay. I won't say anything because the cameraman here is sitting here covering his ears as we talk about this. Okay. We'll just go ahead and say that Brian has taken the RVD route and he has announced when he's going to cash in his money in the bank as opposed to being a sneak artist like Edge. Well, everybody, Punk and everybody, 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 everybody pretty been. much, yeah. So he's going the honorable route and on SmackDown he declares when he'll be cashing in the money in the so bank. So if you haven't seen SmackDown yet, because this is probably go up after SmackDown with our upload speed. <laughs> yeah, with our upload <laughs> speed, yes, but as soon as we finish filming, man, we're going to start trying to upload That's it. Right. So. Um, uh. Jeff did touch on Raw on his talk wrestling episode, so if there's anything that you want to go ahead and bring up real quick, Lady Killer, give your thoughts on from the corporate stockholder perspective. Let's head it real quick. <sighs> Thank you, guys. I, I can't tell you how much I'm happy to be here, but at the same time, how much I'm mad that my face is not on the Dads on Wrestling Facebook or the Renegade on Wrestling Facebook. What the hell is that? I have, I have single-handedly have come on this show and have helped the ratings, along with my good Enterprise buddy, which I'm glad you're wearing the hat, too, because it, go, it goes back. It goes back eight, it goes back eight years now? Seven, eight years? Just about, yeah. Right. Seven years. And, and you know what? I, no regrets of the eight years. Goods and bad, good and bad times. Yeah. Glad to be doing the show. But, you know, this I brought today as a representation of my John Cena story. And I have been told, uh, messaged, all kinds of messaging, all kinds of crazy shit on Facebook, not to tell this story. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave, well, I think SummerSlam's about a month, so we'll just kayfabe it four weeks. I am leaving Dads on Wrestling in four weeks. And at this big Hooters party, at this big Hooters party, I'm cashing in the story. I am cashing in my John Cena story, and with your permission, I want to take my talents and be an exclusive character to the renegade of wrestling. That's exclusive character with you and me, and any other soapboxes or anything like that that the fans want, they'll have talk wrestling on Dad's on Wrestling. Speaking of soapbox, let me let me let me. No, no, no. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let Jeffy, no soapbox. Jeffy, no soapbox. Jeffy, no soapbox. Aw, oh, man. And that's why we can have a show where the fans apparently don't want inter to, to me running around telling jokes, entertaining, getting win or going on locations in the wind. That's what me and the Renegade will keep doing. And if the fans... Or arguing on my damn Facebook wall, you and what's his name? Jason, Jason Simon. Simon. Well, Simon, you had that coming. For the, all my episodes, you keep saying <coughs> this, that, this, that. Yep. You, you had it coming, buddy. You had it coming. And I, I, I you know, I, I, I love, I love you, Jeff, to death. But the soap boxes, it just, it just rattles my brain, man. I know. Right? About the true friends and everything like that. And what, what true friend would have took you in a thirty thousand dollar car to Las Vegas? Me. What true friend? Would have covered you no matter what. We got your back there. Okay. Out of the twenty thousand people that watch TW uh, Talk Wrestling, it was me. It was the Renegade. It was the family. So what I'm saying is, I'm cashing in this Cena story. I'm gone afterwards. I can get all the hate mail I want. I love it. I love it. And I want to be an exclusive character on the Renegade of Wrestling. And to commemorate this, I'd like a photo of just me on either one of the two Facebook uh, pages to like. Well, t to be fair, Dad's is all of us because Dad's your dad, Jay's a dad, I'm a dad. Mm -hmm. Renegade was always JJ's show. We just kind of popped in here and there whenever it was necessary. So we'll have to definitely work on that behind the scenes. We'll have to work on what we're going to do. I'm talking so. everything, entertainment. I'm talking Lady Killer t-shirts. Oh, and there will be on the first episode of Renegade of Wrestling that I appear on with just JJ, there will be a Lady Killer t-shirt already custom made for me. There, uh, you know what? While we're on the subject, we're going to get custom made ice cream bars with my name on it. <laughs> custom made ice cream bars with my name on it. You know why? Because I just want all the internet fans to hate me. Just to hate me. They and already enough, do. Uh, uh, more. <laughs> right? Speaking of which, that shirt you found on eBay was fucking epic, dude. Thank you. Thank you. I'm 
hopefully around my birthday time I'm gonna have that T-shirt in my possession. You might find me walk around SummerSlam access, I, I hope, rocking I hope, that We Want Ice Cream shirt. I, I, I hope I hope he does because there's a lot of people right now. Uh, I'm, and I'm I'm getting back at all these little YouTube comments. There was people <clears> saying I'm a grown man. I'm wearing I'm wearing I don't wear wrestling T-shirts. Well, let me tell you something. There's one wrestling T-shirt right now out there on eBay selling for five hundred dollars, probably worth more than a lot of people's lives. Probably more than a lot of people's lives. That's the CM Punk Best in the World T-shirt. Style Magazine have it one of the most trending T-shirts. So yes, everyone who used to make fun of me in the clubs or anything like that in the past, WWE merchandise is out selling Prada, this, that, all that. Just one little CM Punk shirt. And everything else on ShopZone on CM Punk is sold fucking out unless you're a fucking 4XXL. Damn. Damn. That's crazy. There's still hope. There's still hope. There's still hope. We can all get it. To be fair, we're at the moment. Come back to the punk nation. I never really left as far as professionally. I just don't like the guy. I know. And we love we love you, internet fans, so much. And that's why that's why we're doing it. We're gonna split it up so that way we get the the true the true Meacham loyals and the true ladies. They're watching for the lady killer. And all the rest of them, all the rest of them that this man has pioneered has said, hey man, we got this show coming out. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. All our hard work is still going to pay off. This is true. Alright. Wow. Alright, uh, yeah, that was, that was a pretty emotional speech there, right? Okay, so Money in the Bank happened. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and, uh, oh, let's tell the team to start. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, 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 no, I'm not cashing it in yet. So, Alberto won. Yes, Brian, Brian won. won. Christian won by DQ, which means he won the world title, which is fail. Yeah, don't care. And we all know... we. If you don't see him Punk's a WWE champion... Get out from under your rock. I'll help you out from under that rock. Seriously. <laughs> if you don't know that CM Punk is WWE champion, you probably think that Jeff Hardy is still wrestling in TNA. Just say. Seriously, Chris Hardy. <laughs> when was the last time both world titles changed to hands in the same night? We're going to have to get at Stat Boy and we'll give yeah. you that answer Stat in the next Boy show. is not here, so we'll get the answer the next time on Dad. Yes, on Renegade. 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 Well, Renegade. Because yeah. I think next week we're going to be broadcasting the start of our SummerSlam retrospectives. Which we still have to do. Which we had <laughs> planned long before the other show decided to cash in on my thought process. So there will be three parts. And by the way, a certain website promoter decided that I was ashamed of that show. Um... I'm ashamed of two things okay. on in internet wrestling land. <clears throat> the fact that I was so drunk, Jeff, up in Vegas, although the fact that I got more hits than that was awesome, and drunk Jeff on XMB. I'm ashamed of that, because I should have stayed sober and been a good analysis, and I didn't do that. So but, you're right, Aaron, I am ashamed. You're right. But at the end of the day, weren't you drunk for a reason? Just throwing that out there. Well, yeah, yeah but why the drunk in Vegas know. thing? That's the thing. You so, were drunk in Vegas because it was Vegas and it was your bachelor party. This is true. This is true. If you had done your bachelor party and not gotten drunk, people would have said, what the fuck is wrong with you? I think everybody got their result that they wanted at Money in the Bank. Mostly everybody yes. got the yes. result that they Brian wanted. Brian won. That was awesome. Yes. Uh, the Rio won. The Rio Punk won. Yes, won. Yes, Punk won. And uh, uh, the C Nation fell. But yes. Mark still, Henry won, which was a good thing because it's about time they did something with him. But he's still employed. You know what I mean? Cena's yeah. still employed. Mark Henry won. What's up, Double A? And by the way, you're coming on Renegade with me, too. I want you to be an exclusive cameraman. Go ahead. <laughs> ask your question for the Renegade of Wrestling. Two-minute warning. That's all I was going to say. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I thought he was just How saying, How long have you been doing this, Lady Killer? Uh, you thought, should know what the signals mean. I'm sorry. I'm just used to stat voicing. Guys, just, I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, right. You're the Ric Flair Anyways. win the championship. Woo! Oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> Anyways, Money in the Bank. It's arguing. It's being argued on the internet that it's the best pay per view in the last like five years since the original one night stand. Yeah, six years. What yeah. do y'all think? Chime in with your thoughts. You know where to find us. You know who we are. And I think we've just about finished it up for today. So I'm gonna go back to reading about CM Punk. Damn it. And I'm gonna go look at this little juicy story right in here. And for Death and Wrestling, we'll see you next time.